Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel CryptoPix. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and analyze a coin based off a new acronym I have made called PTMGs, which is the project idea, the problems they solve, the potential for generating revenue, the team, the marketing, the market cap, and the short slash long term goals of the project. My first coin will be InvestFeed. The project idea of InvestFeed is they are looking to create a cryptocurrency epicenter that brings people together who share a goal of revolutionizing the way people invest and develop blockchain technology. They are also looking to reward content contributors that bring value to their platform. So basically, they are the Twitter of the cryptocurrency world with rewards for contributions to the platform. Now the problems that InvestFeed is trying to solve. Currently there's no centralized hub to buy, sell, or exchange coins, get access to market data and news, and be able to chat about existing and emerging cryptocurrencies. So they want this all in just one place. Hopefully it's their, their platform. There's no dedicated network for enthusiasts and professionals in the blockchain industry. Crypto and altcoin information is way too fragmented, scattered. It's just, it's just all over the place. So centralization is definitely needed. Revenue opportunities for active community contributions are super weak. That's pretty much Steam. That's all we have for now. Hopefully they can compete and, and surpass Steam. Also, they're hoping to help improve exposure for newer altcoins. Now, InvestFeed's potential for gaining revenue. So they kind of have two ways it seems they're going to be accomplishing this task, and it's their premium content and their ads placed on the investment feed, sorry, InvestFeed platform. With the premium content, you'll have access to higher level of advanced trader tools, and you'll be able to purchase ad-free experience. Now, the InvestFeed team, uh, I'm going to go through each of these people and kind of go through their what I what I think about them. So the first one is the chief executive officer Ronald Chernetsky. Um, his he has extensive experience in trading since 2005. That's pretty much all I saw from him. Now their chief technology officer and he's also the co-founder is Andrew Friedman. He states that he has over about or a little over 10 years of experience in uh, technology, which is good experience, but that's really all he posted. I mean, there's nothing that stands out to me. Justin Jovancic, I don't know how to say his name. So uh, his was nothing super special. He's the chief operating officer. He did some development for a few years, and that's, that's pretty much all. Gary Ross. If they have any star, this is this is probably it. This is their chief legal officer. He has extensive experience in law. He seems like, like I said, like their only star, and he's on the legal side, which is obviously something you do want. Then you got Taryn Valley is the chief financial officer. Uh, she seems super knowledgeable on startups. Then you have the senior engineer. Clayton Lambert. He was self-employed developer for about three years before coming to InvestFeed. Again, nothing super, super stand out to me. And then finally, they got the editor-in-chief, Greg Rocco, has about four years experience in editing, which which is which isn't bad, but again, not nothing superstarish. <clears throat> their their superstars come in their advisors. So they have two super superstars and advisors. Steve right here, Steve Nayaroff, he was the link link founding advisor and the advisor to ethereum and the crowd cell architect which in my opinion makes him a superstar and then their other superstar is ken i'm not even gonna try to say his name he was the vice president or, or in his linkedin he states he was the vice president and the advisor to goldman sachs so i did skip a few i picked the superstars for the advisors and gave you a brief description of what i thought about their team i went through each of their linkedin and kind of made notes now in terms of marketing, so InvestFeed on their white paper, they say they intend to allocate 20 to 25% of the money raised, which 
ended up being close to about $50 million to drive community awareness and grow the community base. They don't have any specific dates or no planned dates or timeline when they plan to throw a significant amount of money at marketing. Maybe that's something they'll announce in the future. I guess we'll see. Invest feeds market cap. Currently, they're sitting around 11 million market cap. Uh, they have 191 million circulating supply, 355 million total supply. Uh, they're currently sitting around six cents, 1500 satoshis. This keeps going up from like 1300 to 2000. I personally think around 1600 or under is the best time to buy. I did buy at 2000. I'm a little bit mad I did that. But again, I think this has a pretty good potential to make some money. So the closest comparison I could find is really Steam, in, at least in the cryptocurrency space, which has a 270 million market cap right now and has even reached 600 million. So if InvestFeed can reach half of Steam's current market cap, not even their all-time high, that's 11 times gain. Again, Steam's more of like a Reddit for cryptocurrency. This is more of a Twitter, but I didn't really want to compare the Twitter market cap just because it's, it's just way out there and I just don't feel like this will hit that. I mean, it could. If it did, then... Jesus, if you're in this now, you'll make huge gains. But I'm, I was just trying to give you guys some kind of comparison that I could I could find from a significant coin that already has a, a fairly high market cap. And now finally, their short and long-term goals. So in 2017, so their their Q3 to Q4, which is mid to end, they're they're adding improvements. They seem they want to add the live streaming feed, which is basically up-to-date info for each cryptocurrency on the exchange. And they also want to add the advanced identical charting for uh, cryptocurrency. Now, from Q1 to Q2 2018, which is mid early to mid, is their actual beta product launch. This is the portfolio import and watch list. So I'm hoping it's going to be similar to Blockfolio. I don't really have anything on my PC that I can actually use to as like a a bigger Blockfolio. They also will be adding digital asset wallet and connectivity with exchanges so exchange integration this one i'm actually super excited about uh, i'm wanting to get more information hopefully they they give some more updates with with this and some more short and long-term goals we have some more q1 to q2 early to mid 2018 still in their beta product launch they're going to be rolling out their feed token which basically incentives for content you can purchase premium content, uh, which is a ad-free experience, and you can also promote your content. So, uh, kind of like a, you can advertise it. I think you'll you'll probably pay a, a fee to the platform, and it will be able to reach out to more people. They're also going to be doing multiple language support, which again will help broaden the the community for for this platform. Now, Q3 to Q4 2018, they're going to be adding the advanced trader tools, so the technical analysis screener tools, what they call it, more feed tokens, and then the advanced portfolio analysis. So to summarize it all up, although InvestFeed doesn't seem to have the best team, they do seem to have a clear picture of their goals and how they plan to tackle them. They have a few superstar advisors and a good community that are super excited about this platform and hopefully help them make that push. Their market cap is super low and they definitely have the potential to, to grow. Therefore, I'm definitely investing money and will hold while, while they're able to add the much needed features that are planned throughout the next year. I wanna thank everyone for watching my video. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Any feedback is appreciated, whether it's positive or negative. Thanks again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.